All right, you're gonna catch one right there. I should have held it for two more seconds. Oh, no. That's where we had those bites earlier. Go. Got him. Oh, yep. yeah. Almost a double. That's literally where they were schooling, <laughs> schooling earlier. You held him for two more seconds. Ooh! Yeah, Dude, he dropped out of the tree. That's a big one. God. That was so cool. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're gonna be doing some bass fishing this morning. It feels so great. This summer has been so hot, and to get outside early in the morning and just feel that cool air it feels so good today. It feels amazing, guys. Like, I'm telling you, this is like the best morning we've had all summer. The Seriously. air is actually like cooled off for once, I know it's gonna heat up, it's gonna be probably like 95 later to the day, but right now it's like, what, like 70, 75? Yeah, yeah, it's like 70, I think 78 this morning. It just feels so good, man. You're so used to those 100 degree days and just killing yourself out on the water. When you get out here right now, it just feels great. But today we're gonna be frog fishing. We got a nice little spot that we came out to today. We haven't fished in months. So we're excited about it and um, I think we're really gonna put a hurting on them this morning on a frog. So I'm excited about it. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the boat, show you guys what we're throwing, show you guys how we're gonna catch them, get on the water, hopefully hook a couple big fish today. I just saw it blow up under a lay down over there. Um, it's gonna be good. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, just got on the water and I got a few new frogs that I wanna show you guys. I've been wanting to show you the last couple of weeks. I just haven't got the frog fish. So I have three of them with me today. These are the new six cents Vega frogs. If you guys want to get a discount, you can go on their website, type in my code, which I'll pop up on the screen, give you a good discount. But I got a few today. Sadly, I actually have two of the same color. I thought I grabbed three different frogs, but I didn't. Um, right here, we got a standard white one. So I want to talk about this for a second. A lot of people have been asking, Noah, what frogs would you throw in certain conditions? When it's sunny outside, I tend to stick to more of the whites and more of the natural colors. Um, and when it's cloudy outside, I love throwing the blacks, the black and blues, and the more darker color frogs. And that's what I've always done. Like I said, there's no rules of fishing. Some people li might like throwing the darker ones in the sunny days, but you know, from my experience and my best luck that I've had, lighter colors, sunny day, natural colors as well, cloudy days, darker colors. So today is actually bluebird skies. I don't even think I see a cloud. I mean, there's a little bit of eh in the sky, but it's pretty sunny today. So. We have the white ones. I think we're gonna be trying that out today. Me and Six Sense collaborated with and uh, designed that frog. This is a sexy frog, man. And I think we're gonna have to start off with that one. Look at this bad boy, man. The job on it, the color job is outstanding on this frog. In my opinion, this is pretty much the sexiest one they came out with. And I'm just saying, look at that thing right there. Look at that, you gotta love it. Got the little honeycombs on top, look at the silicone. One thing I like about these frogs too, it's got a longer body and these things are gonna be able to walk a lot better. We'll talk about that once we get into today. And also the skirts. When I buy normal frogs, I usually trim my skirts. This one is honestly perfect. There's no need to trim it, unless you wanna trim it a little shorter and you can walk it a little better when you trim the skirt. So we're gonna go ahead and tie this thing on my rod. Right now I'm using a mock smash reel all right, what we got going on? Uh, what we got going on? <laughs> we always Already, got something, man. Always something. <laughs> it's doing it to me. It, it wasn't gonna go flawless. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got a mock smash reel on a mock crush rod, and yes, this is not probably the prettiest thing in the world, but um, it's gonna get the job done today. I'm so I'm excited about it. We're gonna tie this frog on there, and we're gonna get the work. There's a bunch of laydowns in this pond, a bunch of little shady spots under laydowns, and uh, we're just gonna cover a lot of water today. I think this morning bite is not gonna really matter in the shade, um, but we're gonna cover a lot of water, skip this frog up under some trees, and um, see how the fish are gonna bite this morning. All right, guys, we got the frog tied on our own old combo right here. Before we even start casting, let's kind of pitch this in the water in front of us. Let's see how this thing walks. Look at that. See how that thing walks back and forth? It's kind of hard when I'm close, but look at that thing dashing back and forth. That is the good thing about having a frog that's a little lengthy. Um, you know, I can also tell what they did on the hook. See how the hooks are pointed up slightly? That's going to increase the hookup ratio as well. So that's awesome. But with this long body, this frog is just able to walk back and forth so well. The popping action is actually pretty good when you're walking it. It just spits out a little bit of water. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing started, man. I'm excited about it. We're going to figure out how they want it today. But for the most part, 
instead of just popping it and sitting, I'm probably gonna walk it just like this. Just walking the dog with the old frog. I think we're gonna have a few big ones come up for it today. Oh my God, <laughs> that, that quick? That didn't take long. That was dummy. <laughs> that was like my third cast, guys. That was crazy. I think the last time we came here, I caught the fart fish. Fart fish? <laughs> Pretty positive. Stuff. Yep. Anything out there that'll up on this. I already know you want to toss in the hole over there. In the old hole. In the old hole. Oh my god, dude! I hammered that thing. Oh, I came off. I didn't get a good hook set on him. I didn't have my uh, my slack reeled up too well. That was freaking cool though. Oh, that was a good bite, yeah, it was. There we go, guys. That's our first bite today. Didn't get him, that's okay. <laughs> there he is. Oh, God, <laughs> dog, now. <laughs> I'm about to take my head off. Always See if we'll eat this frog. Oh my gosh. Let's get that right perfectly. Dude, that was so good. Under the dock. That's a good one, too. He choked it, dude. I skipped it right in the back of that dock. Look at that. In the back of his throat. He freaking ate that sucker. Look at that. Had some short strikes. This one wasn't short striking it. Look at that one, man. Shoo! That's a good one, son. That's a really good one. That's a good fish right there. Look at that for the first fish today. That is exactly how you want him to eat it. That's a beautiful fish, probably around two and a half pounds, maybe two and three quarters max. I don't think he's quite three. That was a good fish. Look how he ate that sucker. I mean, it's gone. Like you can't even, you can't see <laughs> that it. That is from the as side. far back as it goes. Seriously. <laughs> That's funny because we had a couple bites. I mean, Fletcher caught that one and then I had two bites and he had a bite. They were all short striking it. That one was not playing no games. That is a pretty fish right there. Start off the day on a frog bite, man. You gotta love it right there. Let's get this fish back in the water. Gosh, so pretty too. Wow, Whew. that was awesome. I went like this, skipped that sucker right in between those two pillars on that dock. Started walking that thing back and forth and dude, he demolished it. It's the best thing when you get a bite under something or in something, because it echoes too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about? Like, I've skipped up in some pipes, you just, you, it's the <sighs> loudest thing ever, but. Let's get back in there. That was so fun. Can't believe there wasn't one right there. Surprising. All right. God, dog, that's a big one. <laughs> he choked it too through the slop. Look at that, dude. Look at how they're eating that thing. Look at how that. That's a two pounder all day long. Look at that, another one choking it. I mean, just choking it. It's so funny, you can't ever have it in between. It's either, you know, they, they're just short striking it or choking it. We've had a good mixture today, but look at that one, man. Second fish, pretty, pretty fish, filled out. Man, you demolished that. You're a little stud, I thought you were four plus. The slop action with the frog, you can't beat it. I thought I, thought I saw something move when I landed. Ah. They playing you. They're trying to play with you this morning. I can't believe there wasn't one up on that. Shit, my Oh my god. I want to be honest with you guys with this frog being so long i wasn't expecting it to skip as well as it is right now being designed in a long body form with it being able to walk easy i didn't think i was going to be able to skip it but it's skipping decent you know it's skipping pretty good so that's good to see that's probably my worst cast of the day though 
I'm just getting up under those trees for a long body frog. Just like that. Skip right up in there, pull her out. That's why I like throwing a frog. You cannot beat that. He choked it for, for how big he is. It's our third fish today. We got a good little morning bite going. Oh, they're freaking hammering, but get up in there. I'll eat that buzz too. Come on. We gotta get in there, frogs. What are you doing to us? All right, maybe he'll hit again. I think that was more than one fish. Yeah, there's usually a few in this spot. This Did you see how he ate that? He actually ate it like a big one. That's a three pounder. I think that's a different fish, guys. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at that. That's a That's a that's a, such a healthy fish. Dude, they're smoking this frog, guys. I can't even get it out of their mouth. I got them weird, dude. Look at that. Hooked them in the tongue. Nice. Gosh, that's a good one. Is that bigger than my... No. My three pounder is bigger than your three pounder. A little skinner. I don't know. That's probably a two and three quarter, two and a half. The lowest. Dang, man. That was cool. They're liking that walking action on the frog. I was curious to see. Some days you go out and they don't want to eat it when you're walking it. And today's one of those days where, they, <laughs> you know, we're out here early in the morning. I don't think they like it, man. Yeah, I don't think they like it at all. This frog just sucks, you know. I haven't caught a fish all day. First time frog fishing. <laughs> oh, what? Watch her. Did he wake on it? Yeah. What's going on? What is going on? Dude, they are just... <laughs> oh, oh, we no. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Fletcher did it to me. Fletcher did it to me right there. You, you see what he did there? I didn't see no bite. I think he was just trying to hit me in the head. <laughs> I didn't see no fish. What are you talking about? You got a bite? Well, you, got, you better check them eyes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, watch this. You better check them eyes, boy. <laughs> That's a double up. Is this a double up? Is this what I. Uh oh, it's a dangle double. No way. Can it happen? Oh! Oh! No! Bro, I, I'm gonna tell you. I've had I've probably, probably 782 dangle bites in my life and I've caught three of them, bro. That, if that was gonna ha that actually looked like a big one too. I ain't gonna lie. When he came up, he looked a little bigger than than average. So we out here today, boys. We're gonna be doing the dangle double. Uh-huh. This is a dummy. He choked it too. They're just munching this frog. They don't... There's no no need for me to put the white one on right now when they're freaking choking it like that. You just, that's dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Thanks, you big dummy. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't tell me I'm gonna do back-to-back -back cast because of that. That was just too nasty of a skip. Oh my gosh. I skipped all the way in the back of there. You should bite it again. Yeah, that was insane. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's happening right now, but what in the world? <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh my god. Look at that. Dude, they're demolishing this thing. Like, just demolishing it. Just skipping it up in these trees, and all you hear is doom. That's the most refreshing sound I've ever heard. I want to have my ringtone just be like. Doof. If that was my alarm in the morning, dude, there ain't nothing stopping me from getting out of bed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you 
should get hit. There we go. Got him. Heck Got yes. Him. Good yeah, job. That might be my best one yet. Oh, he keeps getting all the better size <laughs> ones today. <laughs> I'm on the Twinkie train. It could be a difference between the soft and the hard frog. <laughs> Double. <laughs> double. <laughs> what? Let's go. Oh Those my god. That one's got me beat. But, yeah, that uh, might be my biggest. I don't know. That's a good. That's a nice well, fish, I don't know dude. if we've hit that three pound range yet. Um, I definitely haven't. Everyone I've caught's been slightly under two. Look how they're eating that thing every time. <laughs> that one actually came up and kind of sucked it down more than hammered it. He like pulled, he almost hooked himself. His, I just had to lift up barely. Yeah, that's almost a three number. Oh, pff, what? <laughs> How many fish are right there? It's so funny when you really find them stacked up, you actually find them stacked up. That was a pretty bass right there, man. That was a good one. I think we got a good combo going though. Yeah, like with a, with a regular hollow body and a, oh, a soft plastic frog. I think we, um. Getting the best of both worlds. Yeah, I think we're hitting it good. Because if you're if they're not eating yours, then I come up behind, and they might. Yeah, slow it down. Yeah. It's so funny how they're really. One thing that I've seen, guys, that both of us have noticed right now, we haven't talked about it, but a lot of these trees haven't had the fish on them. But you, you get in one little hot spot, and you start to have multiple bites. These fish are stacking up. You know, they're grouped up, so. That's one thing to think about when fishing, not just frog fishing, just fishing as a whole. You know, when you're, when you catch one, you might need to hone in and make multiple casts there because there could be multiple bass sitting there. So it's just something to think about because we've covered a lot of water and um, we've had the most bites where those fish are condensed oh, and holding yeah. on to one spot. So just something to think about. I wonder if we just caught the edge of the morning bite. Maybe so. Because I've been working at how we started. And I'm, I'm not like getting clobbered how I was. They're hitting it, but they're not like committing. If it continues to happen, that's definitely what's going on because they were choking it earlier. Definitely that little morning, morning bite as the sun's coming up. Guy. Yeah, I don't, it might have been a morning bite, Fletch. Uh, it might have been. I've had the last three or four bites I've had, and just they're not they're not eating it how they were, you know. Not taking it. Uh uh We might have had that little tiny time frame. Window, yeah. I really think that's the case here. I want another dock bite. Come on. Oh! That's when you'll receive. Ooh. He... Oh, there it is. That's a good one. Better one. Nice. Dude, he tried to eat it as it was skipping. Really? Yeah. That was freaking awesome. Well, that one ate it. That's another thing, guys. When you, when you, uh, it don't matter what bait it is that you're skipping. It don't matter if it's a jig, if it's a worm, if it's a chatter bait if it's a frog there's some days that the fish actually want it skipped in front of their face you know they'll actually bite it better if you skip it under a tree you know it gets their attention it's not just like a loud like hit on top of their head you know you skip right up in front of them they think it's a little bait fish or whatever they think it is that's just fluttering right at the top so they're, they're usually going to come up and eat it i think that might have been some of the key to success with this frog today was actually skipping it under the trees rather than just throwing it Combo right here by Abdul Garcia, and this thing is actually really, really nice for the money. Noah's got himself a fish right there, and he came off. Oh, They're not eating man. it right, bro. That was a big one. That's probably my biggest all day. Yeah, that was a three and a half. Ugh. That's okay. Was it? Mm -hmm. I've been close to four. There it is. Don't spit it. <laughs> Don't spit it. 
Get up here, boy. Get up here, boy. See, they're not eating as good. It wasn't it wasn't choked like the other ones. That's skinny fish, dude. Look how skinny that is. It's still a solid two pound, two yeah, number. Chill out in the hole, man. I know. Oh, that was so cool. Way back there. <laughs> that was so good. As far back as you get it in. Literally. Oh my god. Alright, you're gonna catch one right there. I should have held it for two more seconds. Oh, no. I was where I had those bites earlier. There we go. Got him. Oh, yep. yeah. Almost a double. I was literally where they were schooling. <laughs> schooling earlier. You held him for two more seconds. Oh! Yeah, dude, he dropped out of the tree. That's a big one. Oh, nice. oh dude. That's my best one today, I think. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, dude. Out the bunch. He was back there, though, wasn't he? Dude, he dropped out of the tree and he ate it as it hit the bank or as it hit the water. Oh, my gosh. That's there a good go. That's a solid three. I think I got Woo. the beat. <laughs> <laughs> gosh. Oh, that's a good little guy right there. Cool double up. Almost a trip. Um, I a triple <laughs> with two people. I don't know if that's a thing, but it was technically a triple. All I did is shake it out of the brand, shake it out of the leaves, and hit the water, and he just rolled on it. That's probably that one that bit me earlier. Probably was. Probably got right back up there. There's school, and that's a pretty bass. Well, the bite slowed down, and then all of a sudden it picked back up. <laughs> but like we were saying, the same dude. They condense in one the in, spot. It's crazy. Didn't get much. Pretty good. Surprised he didn't get bit right there. Oh, watch this, Fletcher. Ah. I could have got a better cast. Hold on. He might have came out for it right there. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm in it. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me he's not going to eat that. Dude, come on. That was, it couldn't have been a better cast. I know. I feel like if I got my first cast like that, that was just my bad. There it is. That's a freaking good one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yo. Let's go. Gosh, I thought he was bigger. That boil seemed huge. <laughs> no, that's where I got the dangler right there. Well, dang. That's a really good one. He don't feel big, but I swear he might be my biggest today. Gosh, so crazy, man. They're just, look at this frog, Fletcher. Look at the paint job. Good luck on the green frog. I know, dude. He totally took it off. This white. side's fine. That white. Look at how they're eating. It's just crazy.